Good morning. Was the word that Paul preached to the Thessalonians, was it the word of man or was it the word of God? Today we're at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and we're just going to look a little bit at verse 13. Let's read it. Verse 13, For this reason we also thank God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God which you heard from us, you welcomed it, not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which also effectively works in you who believe. Okay, so let's notice these facts. Number one, the people in Thessalonica that became this little church, they received the word of God. Number two, they received this word through Paul and his associates, preaching and teaching. Number three, The people of Thessalonica received this word from Paul and his associates, not as the word of men, but as the word of God. Number four, the word of God works effectively in those who believe. So here's how we can think about this. The word of God received by the worker, the preacher, the apostle, whoever it is, the word of God received by him, it is is divine thoughts imparted to his mind. The Holy Spirit gives these thoughts the the worker himself is inspired and he thinks those thoughts and he forms those thoughts into words words that his mind selects and then he presents those words in writing in preaching in in teaching and that is if he's faithful if he's faithful in in bringing it together that is the word of god uh, it comes through it's still the word of god but and yet it has this, this human piece in it. Everything in human language is imperfect, and yet, even though it's the word of man in a sense, it is still the word of God. It's coming from God. It's coming very intentionally from God. It's being delivered to God's people through God's servant, and it's still the word of God. It even still has a divine authority to it. Now, if you're an apostle, if you're one of the Bible writers, then I believe the Holy Spirit also protects that word as it's inscripturated, as it's presented, then that word is retains inspiration. It's, it's kept correct. If you're just a common run-of-the-mill preacher like myself, then the word that comes is, uh, there's no guarantee quite like that. And so again, we test all things, we prove all things, hold fast to the things that are true, compare them, scripture, compare with scripture, compare what the preacher says with what the Bible says. Then we'll know what's truth and what's not truth. The word received all the way through the situation is the word of God, and here's the best part of all. It effectively works in we who believe. And so this word can change us. This isn't like, you know, a carrot dangling out there somewhere that we're just kind of following stupidly, and, and but we can never really quite get there. We can never really go up higher. We can never really be holy. No, the word of God effectively works in us. So it changes us. It changes the heart, and it draws us close to Jesus. So don't, don't think for a moment the Word of God won't do all that you hope and pray that it will do for you. It certainly will, because this is, this is the promise of God. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your Word, which works effectively in we who believe. Thank you that this is not some uh, distant knowledge that we can't quite get, that's always forever out of reach. Thank you that you've delivered it to us. You delivered it to us in the inspired writings, the Bible has your word in the, it can come to us and actually change our hearts on the inside. Thank you for this, Lord. Thank you that we're not caught in some kind of a bubble or a cyst or something that we, we, can't, we can't poke through to you. You can't poke through to us. We're just stuck forever apart. We know that, although philosophically there's people that teach basically that, we know that's not the truth. The truth is that you work in this world. You're here to change us and call us up higher and help us come up higher. Thank you for these promises, Lord. Thank you for doing it in us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. His word received and believed in works effectively in us, and it changes the kind of person we are. In fact, it could even make us, and it will make us, Christians. God be with you today and this day as you go out into a confused and puzzled world, knowing that God is on your side and he's calling us all up higher to join in and draw close to Jesus.